First, community concerns over a new Chick-fil-A. The traffic that they bring is excessive. The proposed location for a popular fast food chain that has neighbors and businesses clocking back. And we begin tonight with that backlash for proposed Chick-fil-A location in Detroit near the Gross Point border. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now, neighbors and businesses are concerned about the likely traffic congestion that the restaurant would bring. The new location would be on the east side at the intersection of Mac and Marseille. It would join the other 10 locations in Metro Detroit, many of which have popped up in recent years. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is in the area for the new Detroit location with the concerns. Residents near this stretch of Mac say they're all for development and new business, but not if it becomes a nuisance. I've seen Chick-fil-A's on Hall Road. I just went by one on Telegraph and the traffic that they bring is excessive. Katie Brosnan, a Gross Point resident, says she's concerned about this old dealership on the corner of Mac and Marseille in Detroit potentially turning into a Chick-fil-A in this residential community. That's if the developer, Veris Development Group, has its way. We do not think that the traffic study commissioned by Chick-fil-A was adequate to, to provide the safety that's needed in this area. A daycare is located next door to the proposed development. Renee Chown and her husband are the owners of the Giving Tree Montessori Learning Center. She talked to us while surrounded by parents and staff. My take is that this is the worst place for a Chick-fil-A because of the fact that it is not safe. Safety is the main concern of my child care license. Other Chick-fil-A locations, like the one at Telegraph and 12 Mile in Southfield, and the one in Novi at 12 Oaks Mall, are located either within or adjacent to shopping or strip mall parking lots. I would be concerned with traffic. I would be concerned with pickup and drop off. I would be concerned with kids walking to and from cars. I left a message for a manager with Veris Development, and I made another call to another gentleman representing the company. He hung up on me. According to the city of Detroit, the property is zoned for a restaurant, and the developer is applying for a special land use permit for a drive through In a statement to 7 Action News, the city said, quote, we welcome any code compliant business to the city of Detroit, and we also respect the neighbors and business owners right to voice their position on any business that requires a conditional land use hearing. This ordinance does not apply to daycare centers and anyone within 300 feet of a proposed establishment can appeal to the Board of Zoning and Appeals." End quote. A hearing with the developer is scheduled to take place October 18th at 9.30 a.m. over Zoom via the City of Detroit. Residents are encouraged to attend. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Darren.